Hello, welcome to my back garden. It's a song now, I'm going to explain this song. It's called Skittery Dug. It's on the album here, Half Alive in Edinburgh, number 10. Out of 13 songs. Very successful album, this. Half Alive in Edinburgh. Most of the songs are traditional songs, but I needed an extra song to fill out the set list to make it over 45 min minutes long. Um, so I wrote this song. It's influenced by our neighbour at the time. It was dog was peeing on the fence next to us, and we had small children. I didn't want to. I didn't want to approach the neighbour and say, "Excuse me, you might not let your dog pee on the side of a fence." Like, and I felt I wasn't a dog owner at the time, but now I am. I didn't understand uh, the way dogs are loved by their owners, and I understand it a bit more now. And when the, this album came out, I asked people I knew, I said, what do you think of that? I said, what do you think of that? And then, is there anything you don't like? A lot of them came back and said, well, I don't like Skittery Duck, I don't like that song. Uh, but other people come back and they say, hey, can you play Skittery Duck again? It's funny. And people you wouldn't expect come back and they say, go away, and they come back and say, hey, my mum really likes Skittery Duck. And you play it, and it's become almost a cult classic. On the CD, if you don't like it, just pass it on. But it's almost divisive. I'll explain it. Song. The beginning, the main uh, chorus of it, and uh, I mean verses. The verses is a G, C, E minor, and C, and that's used in many, many. That chord progression is used in many, many, many pop songs. And let's put the melody over that, and then at the beginning, I used. That influence is almost hymn-like. It's similar, and you can hear it. And it's similar parts of it, close to it, in the Beatles' "Let It Be," and also the song "Between the Wars" by Billy Bragg. The middle eight of the song, uh, the part that changes up, and then you go back to the verse and the chorus, is influenced by R.E.M. Because I went to see R.E.M. about times in 1984 and twice in 1985 and uh, the um, middle eight is a lot of songs and a lot of energy in the songs that sort of style yeah so that's what I thought of when I put in that E minor E minor sorry for the middle eight but you'll hear it when I play the whole song again through the words as I said there was influenced I regret it slightly because it's kind of um, Boy humour, but that's all it is, humour. Not to be taken too seriously by dog lovers. As I said, we have a dog now, and we love a dog. The word skittery, what does skittery dog mean? What's skittery? What is that? Well, I grew up in Fife and the Northis, and quite often we hear someone say, a skittery, this skittery dog. It's shitty. That's what it means. Something's got the skitters. You've got the shits. That's what it comes from. So it's a shitty wee duck. Or oh, no, it's a small, skittery wee duck. You can get it. If you understand what I'm saying, I hope you do. Um, the harmonica bit. Imagine um, Bob Dylan when he's recording his music um, in Columbia Records. He's just been out of town, man, just hanging out with his pals, doing lots of things, and he cruises in one afternoon. Hey man, I gotta do Rolling Stone, I gotta do Blowing in the Wind, man. Just play, Bob. That's kind of what the, the harmonica goes over the melody, and so does the melody. The chorus, I like to say as well, I changed the chorus. And if you listen to a song uh, by Terry Jacks, who had Seasons in the Sun, listen to that song, and the chorus kind of takes you by surprise towards the end of the song because. It changes. It's not what you expect it to be. Also, when Simon and Garfunkel's Mrs. Robinson, that chorus changes too as you progress through the song and keeps you kind of on your toes a bit, like makes you maybe want to listen to it again. One last thing about the song before I play it is the lyrics are in the album, in the CD, and uh, the last chorus here it says, Skinny Dog, you don't scare me. I'm questioning your pedigree. I'll sweep you under the rug. You're skittery duck. Well, that is not actually on the recording. If you listen to the recording. 
Um, different, different words. Anyway, I think I've covered all the song and the reasons for it, the music. Uh, give me a, a, a like or a share if you want to. Uh, a comment, what do you think of the song? Who knows? I'm sorry, I see a butter passer by. The deep down she's really happy with a twinkle in her eye because you're doing what she bought you for. Sunshine, snow, and rain. Sniffing around the car and park road, protecting the domain because you're a scary duck and you don't scare me. You're barking up the wrong tree. Your mouth up, it's a block. You're a scary duck. Scary duck. Don't scare me, I'll flush you down Lavatory, I'll tape down your me mug You're a scary duck When night has fallen Mrs Smith takes you out to do what's natural You both sneak down the railway path Practice not unusual With your royal steward Tartan ways not to beat them on at such a pace We just less than a kilogram with a pointed nose and a furry face You're a scary duck And you don't scare me You're parking up the wrong cheek And your mouth up puts up a lot You're a scary duck Scary duck What would you do if you were let out in the wild? Would you stand and shiver fearfully Like a lost and lonely orphan child? And a child is what you are Mr and Mrs Smith Something to hold on to, precious. Something to go on his way. the gap, you give the smiths much needed lost pride. Dragging him round the neighbourhood, that practice looks undignified. When they bought you from the shop, they thought you were something special. But somehow you've never quite managed to live up to your potential. You're a scary duck, and you don't scare me, you're barking up. You're wrong to your face, I'll put your plug, you're a scary duck. Scary duck, you don't scare me, I'll flush you down. Lavatory, I'll tape up your wee mug, you're a scary duck. Scary duck, you don't scare me, I'm questioning your pedigree. I'll sweep you under the rug, you're a scary duck. Scary duck. <laughs>